Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze, where we explore the wonderful world of alcohol. Uh, Mondays is whiskeys, gin, no, did I say whiskeys? Mondays is gins, vodkas, tequilas, uh, rums, liqueurs, and anything else that's not whiskey. We think it's been a groundhog day of Mondays. Yes. So today we are trying a, uh, a gin from Italia, Italy. 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 This is from the Malfi uh, Distillery. I think it's the Malfi Distillery. Malfi con Arancia. I don't know. It's really difficult to... The Malfia. It looks like it's the Terrazano Distillery uh, in Italy. It's the Malfi Gin, but this is the Malfi Blood Orange Gin. So they have three different gins. They have the regular gin. Um, they might have a dry gin, a London dry gin, and then they have this blood orange. They may have more, but this is what I could find. It is a little bit pricey on average for a gin at $26.49. It is 40% or 82 proof. 41% or 82 proof. No wage statement, obviously. Uh, this is something we got in the advent calendar. So this is our first in three gins for the advent calendar. And so we finished up um, almost, well, quite a bit, more than half in these episodes during January. Um, this is our first of three gins. Uh, I still think we have some uh, Canadian whiskeys. We might have one bourbon left. And then we have scotches to go. Uh, but this might be the last of the uh, non whiskeys. So we've trudged through the advent calendar uh, as promised. And I want to say something about the blood oranges. Okay. It's like they're very hard to find. It's like a three week window to get blood oranges. Okay. We made. You just don't find them. Yeah, we did make blood orange um, cello, uh, homemade blood orange cello. Didn't work out as well as we liked. Um, it was just an experiment. Uh, but my wife really likes blood orange, uh, the flavor. And so we have another blood orange gin that we're gonna do that's not available in America, but this is. And this is the Malfi. So, uh, hey. what? I was going to say, the reason why they call it the blood orange is because it's so red inside of it. Okay. When you cut it open, it's just not like a regular orange. It's just red. And now you know. Now you know. Stuff you need to know. So, it very orange smelling. Uh, very strong. No, no real alcohol smell to it. It smells really good. But I will say this is one of two of our advent calendar. So 24 days of advent calendar. There was only two samples in there that I didn't care for. One was the banana liqueur that we, if you want to know about that, um, I did uh, a day for the advent calendar on that. Plus uh, Cody and I sat down and did a uh, Friday liqueurs episode for cocktails. I didn't care for the banana and I didn't care for the blood orange. This is definitely the the orange <laughs> that you get in a chocolate orange you know those oh yeah yeah the those Christmas oranges, oranges. That you like yeah this is definitely the orange that you get in that which but it i doesn't, like it doesn't taste that way though i think there's a slight um i don't know conflict going on between the juniper aromatics of the gin and the blood orange flavor that just isn't complimenting for me um, I know that my wife is a huge gin fan and blood orange fan. She also wasn't too big of a fan of this. Um, but they sell a lot of bottles, so it must be okay for some people's flavor profile. It's just not for me. It's really cool color. It'd make a great additive to a martini cocktail that you can, if you can figure out a twist to try to enhance the blood orange flavor. So maybe some triple sec or orange bitters or something, I don't know, but just try to make it taste a little better. Um, but that conflict between the standard juniper 
I'm gonna say botanicals in this don't work. The the aroma is great. Aroma is awesome. It's got a little bit of bite. Mm -hmm. It's kind of on my lips a little bit. Mine's the, a little on the back end. The flavor is just like a huge disappointment. Yeah, it's it's hard to describe, but it feels like there's a conflict. It's almost like I. Maybe in this might be a little harsh, like wet cardboard or something. But you have to remember that Italy has their own unique flavor profiles. We've tried some Italy um, whiskeys like the Funis mm -hmm. and the Geometrica, and um, they are slightly different. And then Italy and their Grappa. Yeah. So there's a different flavor profile for Italian liquors. I think that probably this might be very popular in Italy. It's not very popular to me. Um, I just don't really care for it. I don't dislike it. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's awful. And it's not one of these bottles that <clears throat> people like, oh, it was so horrible. I th threw it down the drain. I, I don't know why people do that. But no, I, I see that all the time to really good whiskeys and vodkas and stuff. They're like, this was so horrible, I couldn't drink it. So no, I would, they it, show a picture of them dumping it down the drain. I'm like, you're stupid, but. Yeah, I would never throw this. It just like, it has a very flat, kind of like, mm -hmm. incon I was gonna say inconsistent, but it is very consistent. It's just a, it's just a very, nothing flavor to me. I think it's just a conflicting flavor between that typical gin and the blood orange. So we end up with a full bottle and then this. So we, we bought two bottles because like I say, my wife really likes um, blood orange and we thought we'd like this. And where we initially got it, it was a little bit cheaper than what I quoted you, 26 49 I think we got it for under 20, could be wrong. Um, so we have two bottles. A bottle and a half I guess so I'm gonna go ahead and um, sit Cody on this for his mad scientist Friday cocktails and see if he can um, yeah. maybe possibly come up with a reason to um, use this in some martini style cocktails maybe at a little lemon he's shaking his head but because he took this and added some stuff that even I was questioning and didn't like it so um, I think he needs to come with a clear head I think he's been drinking all day and come up with um, a cocktail for it and then of course my wife will probably she has a, a very um, precise aroma palette uh, that she could probably come up with something but tell us what you think about Mal Malfoy uh, gin uh, the blood orange you like it are there other blood orange gins out there we should try uh, we do have the beef eater blood orange that we're going to try but that's not available in the US but just let us know what you think uh, and any other gins that we should try. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And we'll see you tomorrow for whiskeys. All Bye. right. Later. Price